you're looking at the Cooler Master HAF932 full tower casing. What I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna show you uh, how to completely remove this casing uh, part by part uh, because I'm gonna paint this casing uh, inside and the side panels. Uh, I haven't decided the colors yet, but I'm gonna show you how to remove totally rip this case off. First you can remove both the side panels from removing these two thumb screws on each side. And inside the case next time I'm going to remove these hard drive rail mounts, all five of them. Also, I'm going to remove all the expansion slots. Now the, all the expansion slots are removed. I'm thinking to take off the uh, 140 millimeter fan on top, which you can do from unscrewing these four screws. Next I'm going to remove the 230mm fan on top, you have four Allen key drives on top. Just remove them. One more to go. Same way you can remove the uh, side panel with, uh, fan here, there are four screws. Okay these are the uh, five and a quarter inch base toolless drives, we have to remove them in order to paint the casing. Uh, removing this is bit tricky because there are two springs inside when you pop this out it will jump out somewhere so you have to make sure that you can locate them to remove them you have to put a considerable amount of pressure downwards and pull it out like that and there is one more here like that okay and slowly you can take off these are the two springs that I was talking about you have to make sure that they won't jump out likewise you have to remove all the base pull it down pressure down and pull it out likewise I have removed all the five and a quarter inch toolless dry base and next I'm gonna remove the expansion slot bay to do this uh, what you have to do is there is a small pin I'll show you small pin right here you have to pull it out what you can do is you can just pull it out like that and then just pull it out there you go after you've done that these things can be removed easily. Nice. 
next I'm gonna remove the ATX power supply bracket there's a one thumb screw here for the expansion can extend the bracket and the two screws here you have to undo them Take it out the whole thing. Next, I'm gonna remove the top part of this casing. To do that, you just remove this rubber padding thing. And there are three screws you have to undo. When you do that this whole thing will come out you just have to pull it bit front and then there you go all the front panel connectors and all the wires just slowly take it out next i'm gonna undo the front of the casing you just flip out these five and a quarter inch bit drives it's an easy task down to remove this 230 millimeter fan you have to pull this bay and it just comes off and there are four screws that you have to undo to get rid of this 230 millimeter fan if you prefer you can install the 120 millimeter fan but I suggest that you keep this you can just take this out like so next I'm gonna undo these two plastic covers on the other side there are three screws each side you have to undo them I'm gonna do right now. After you do so, you have to gently pull it down, pull it down, and then take it out. Likewise, this side also. Same way, pull it down and then take it off.